everybody i hope you're all doing well and of course staying safe so i'm really excited for today's video because i am finally 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 gonna be attempting to do the three marker challenge i'm really excited for this video I've been delaying it for quite a while um, because I just thought it'd be really, really hard, but I decided to finally tackle it. I'm really excited. I actually already inked my drawing. It is Cat Valk Fan Art, so I already inked it. And all that's left really is to color it and pick my three markers. <laughs> But before I do get into the video, I just want to thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. It really does mean the world to me. Thank you for all your support. I'm so grateful and so thankful for every single one of you guys. But without further ado, let's pick out my markers. Now, I don't have too many markers. I have about 30. Um, so let's just pick them. Oops. And I wasn't going to show my face, obviously, so I wanted to prove that I wasn't going to cheat. So I'm going to keep basically the back closed like this while I do it. But let's start off with shaking it. Okay, that didn't do much. Let's shake it some more. Oops. So before we do pick the markers, let's go over what colors I would like. I would like brown. This is like a magical elf girl. So I would like brown for the tree ear things and the beads. I'd like green and blue for the hair. Brown for the eyes. Um, lipstick natural for my the lips. And then like a tan for the skin. But yeah, so I promise I'm going to be closing my eyes. I'm really actually scared for this. So I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Marker number one. I promise I'm not looking. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so marker number one is purple. I was not expecting that. Let's shake it some more. Oh, I was about to put the purple back. No. Marker number two. Um, okay. I got a blush. Okay, marker number three. I really want it to be a skin tone, which is really important to me. So hopefully I get a skin tone. I'm just gonna have to mix it really well. Okay. I promise I'm not looking. Hmm. Okay. And I got baby skin pink, and this is a skin tone. Okay. Okay, really, I don't think these are bad colors. I really don't think they are. Um I feel bad because the tree branches, but the purple is giving me, I think I'll do the hair purple and blush, and then I do baby skin pink for the skin, obviously, and for this stuff right here, I'm trying to figure out what I would do for the eyes. I think I just have to color in black with my fine liner. I don't know, but let's go ahead and swatch these colors first. Andy Dandy Notebook, that's going to be making a lot of appearances. I put YouTube video ideas here, schedule, everything, like my everything. And I actually already have a page for some swatches, so let's just swatch them right over here. So these are three markers I got, two eye color markers, and one Prisma color. So let's start off with a Prisma color marker. This is Violet PB50, just in case you're interested. That is actually a really nice color. I feel like it's kind of enchanted and I like that. And then let's do blush. Start off with the chisel tip. Oh wow, that's a lot bigger of a difference than I did expect to be honest. Okay, so I'm kind of scared that this is kind of running out. So I might have to find a color that's really close to it because this marker I use I use blush a lot and I think it's kind of running out. So I'm going to find the most similar color that I can find to it. So no, this is too saturated. No, that's too dark. So I think the closest to it would be peach. Yeah. I think I might have to stick with peach. Or I, I, let's see which one is running out more. Cause I just don't want it to run out at, on me. Uh, it's, it's not, 
it's not bad, but I kind of have a feeling it's gonna run out because this one has so much more, so much more ink. So I think to be completely honest, I might have to do the pink one over because the blush really is running out. So I'm gonna grab all my pink markers that I have. Okay, I'm just quickly going to pick one of these. Let's get the bag again. This time, you'll know for sure I won't be able to see, so. I promise I'm not looking. Hmm. I don't know which one I'm getting. Okay. I got rose salmon. So let's check rose salmon out. Oh. Okay, that's pretty similar. Okay, okay. So now I'm quickly just going to try to blend this with my purple marker. I don't know how well this is going to go. But you know what? Let's try. I really hope it does blend. It'll be a very big shame if it doesn't. But let's try. Oh, it is. It is. It is. I think the problem is this paper, to be completely honest. Yeah, 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 I think this will work. I definitely think this will work. So, just in case you tuned out um, for a second, the three markers I got is a Prismacolor Violet PB50, a Color uh, Rose Salmon, or R361, and Baby Skin Pink E407. So I'm really excited to start coloring this drawing in. So I started off by swatching the colors. I had done it in the beginning, but I want to swatch it one more time just to get a good feel for the colors. It's really important to swatch them, especially because they look different than the cap. And then I went ahead and colored in the lips, light orange, and I added in some highlights with my white gel pen. And then I colored in the skin, and the skin was a lot, the skin tone that I got was a lot darker than the cap, which I was very happy about. I definitely want a darker skin tone. And it worked okay for the tree branch ears, and I shaded those ears with the light orange color and then I went in with the hair the hair is supposed to be like curly so I kind of like did it dot 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 it was definitely time consuming but I think it turned out okay it didn't really give that really curly effect that I was looking for but that's okay and I wanted it to look like that was her natural hair color so I colored in the eyebrows the same color which was pretty interesting let's just say very magical girl huh and then I colored in the beads of those little hair strands and I put this little rock on her forehead and I colored in those strands. And then I went ahead and you're seeing a lot of off camera stuff now, but I was trying to shade in the skin like by layering and I colored in the eyes. I cheated with the eyes, I will admit. I know I shouldn't have done that, but I just couldn't. And then I went ahead and signed it and that was basically it. Okay, and this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? I quite like how it turned out. It was definitely challenging, especially because I didn't want it to be too much of an overload on just the three colors. Um, I do like the eyebrows. They kind of look tie-dye. It's kind of weird. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I added some gold accents with a gold jelly roll. So it wasn't a marker, so I didn't cheat. Um, when it came to the gold one, and then I signed it with my, with the gold um, drop pen as well. And I actually really like how it turned out. I'll be sure to leave um, the link to the reference because I use Kat Valk's picture as a reference. And yeah, also I did shading on the branch with pink and over here, but you know. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys again so much for 500 subscribers, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.